You can get a copy of my free ebook Technical Analysis Basics with one click. There is a link in the description box down below. So maybe you're new to technical analysis or you've been using it a while. There's a series of articles in this book that'll get you using some more technical analysis tools pretty much right away. It's written for beginners to intermediate, super easy to use. Hi everybody, this is Lara from Pure Elliott Wave. I'm going to give you a free analysis of ICP or Internet Computer today. This is a request from someone within my membership at pureelliotwave.com. Um, I don't like the look of this chart at all, so I think this is going to be pretty quick. I think this looks like possibly an impulse unfolding lower. It could also be a zigzag, so just on the weekly chart, let's have a quick Elliott Wave count of either. Let's do an impulse, and I think we'd have to have primary degree. I can see, obviously, it starts from up here. I'm in Peru at the moment. We made our way down to Chicama. Actually, we're staying right in Porto Malabrigo on the coast where the wave is. If you're a surfer, you'll know what that means. Super exciting, but they went and had a, a coup or an attempted coup or something's going on and there's a bunch of protests and road closures and airport closures and, you know, general Latin American protesting stuff, which I'm kind of used to now. They do that a lot in Panama. But, oh, goodness, a little bit concerning. The house we're in is essentially a fortress. <laughs> they built their houses pretty serious, maybe because of all the protesting that they do regularly. Oh, I think I can see what well, that could be over there, yeah. So, yeah, we'll stock up on food and water and hope it blows over in a few weeks. If we want to leave, now's the time to do it, but I don't know if I really want to be trying to get back up to Ecuador, where we came from. Has sea moved beyond the... No, it hasn't. I don't like running flats, no. Well, this isn't going to fit all that well. Oh, no, hang on. Is this high? 58261. No, it has to be that one. Okay, so, oh, well, I guess this could be okay. This fifth wave. This is a bit that I'm not sure. It doesn't look like a perfect-looking impulse, but could be a little brief second wave. Oh, that's my lunch. Fourth wave there. That could be, yeah. So there could be an impulse over there. Okay, sorry, the situation in Peru, yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on it. Although if things change quickly, there's really not much you can do. The time to leave would be now. But we just got here, and I don't know if I want to... I'll delete that, let's try zigzag. I don't know if I want to really try and hoof it on back to Ecuador and Bogota. I think it'll probably blow over. I don't know. Am I making a terrible choice? I don't know. I think if this is a zigzag, maybe A, B, C. Let's see if this actually has a better fit. It's hard to know, but, you know, I lived through a global pandemic stuck in an apartment in Panama City. I figure we can pretty much cope with anything at this point. We'll see. <laughs> You've got to laugh. <laughs> or you might go a little bit mad. I think this, oh, I don't think that's going to work. That minor wave one, or oh, could it be a leading contracting diagonal though? Yeah, this will work. Okay, checking wavelengths. Yeah, three definitely shorter than one, five shorter than three, four shorter than two. That actually looks all right. Except following a leading diagonal in a first wave position, the following second wave is usually quite deep. This has a pretty good fit. The fifth wave could be over. This also has a reasonable fit. The fifth wave could be over. So, it could be a complete zigzag down, it could be a complete impulse down. Let's have a look at the fifth wave. So, for both of those wave counts, I'm seeing this as a fifth wave. No, that doesn't look great. Okay, it's incomplete. So, the third wave could be over there. Is it going to subdivide well, though? No, I don't think so. Motive wave says no, can't make it work. When motive wave doesn't put your, yep, big overlap, doesn't work. Okay, let's delete that, excuse me. Actually, my biggest concern with the situation, thank you, the situation in Peru right now is a potential deterioration of ability to get food and water and no internet, which means I won't be able to publish any analysis for my membership. I don't like that either. Now that works, but three is shorter than one. I don't think one is gonna work. 
I think we might have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no, that, okay. So this means that five is limited to no longer than 2.24. Okay, so for both of them, the fifth wave could be over in one more low. But this is the price point that you would need to see breached in order to have confidence. And let's bring in a channel. So we'll try from one to three. Copy on two, Elliot's first technique. Oh, that's really conservative. I like that. I like a good conservative channel. If this channel is breached by a full daily candlestick, doesn't have to be weekly, daily will do, of upward movement, a green candlestick above this line and not touching this line, if that happens, then we can have some confidence that the bear market for ICP could be over. Prior to that, I would assume that the bear market remains the same. It's been in a bear market for the entirety of its price history. And I do not like the look of this one. I will not be wanting to purchase any of this. At the weekly chart level, no, daily, let's just look at daily. So here's a bullish, you know, bullish piercing pattern. Here's a morning star, but a very weak one, bit of a bounce. Let's have a look at previous lows. Here's a hammer candlestick, bullish engulfing candlestick, only led to uh, short-term bounce, the bullish engulfing did not have support from volume. Here's a strong morning doji star. The green candlestick did have support from volume compared to the previous red one. And that didn't lead to any further highs. This high is below this, so that wasn't very good as a prediction. A bullish hammer candlestick pattern here and a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern lacks support from volume. Here's another bullish engulfing candlestick pattern lack support from volume. Another one here did have support from volume. This is early in the price history, 21st of July 2021, led to a reasonable bounce but not the end of the bear market. So the conclusion would be that even if there's support from volume, this one could continue lower. I think that channel is probably the best way to identify when this is over. Volume is light at the moment, volume is increasing as price moves lower, pushing price lower. ADX is declining, the negative DX line is above the positive, so there's a downward trend, pretty obvious. How it's reached previously, very extreme. Above 45, and in the early days, above 65, goodness. RSI is neutral. There's some bullish divergence here between price and RSI on a closing basis, but it's not really very strong. Uh, there's long-term bullish divergence from the beginning of this, from here to here, was exceeded then here, here, exceeded then, and still really strong bullish divergence. So obviously, just because there's bullish divergence doesn't mean the bear market has to be over. It's continued for the entirety of this price history. Strong bullish divergence between price and money flow index. That's existed before, and yet then it's just disappeared. And ATR showing a little bit of an increase as price curves around and starts to move lower. I would read this one as quite bearish. I am not interested in purchasing any of this for myself. That's my conclusion for ICP. Do not like the look of that chart at all. I'll be keeping my membership updated with um, the situation here in Peru and my situation here in Chicama. And hopefully all will be well. I hope is a terrible strategy, but unless we pack up and leave now, I feel like it might be all I've got. <laughs> I think we're perfectly safe, so all should be well. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Coming up next, maybe tomorrow if I have the time, Ethereum.